Adeline Wee, Director Asia for Art Basel, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak together and in person. This is no ordinary Art Basel. It's the first of any of your fairs. That's Basel, Miami, Hong Kong to take place since the start of the pandemic. And it will rank as one of the most important cultural gatherings globally in that time too. What's the opportunity? For us in Hong Kong, this is a great opportunity for us to just come together after a year and more of, of just not being able to do this. Um, I think the meaningful part of this is, is really just the face-to-face -face connections, the conversations that we will be having in the show floor, uh, the fact that we'll be celebrating art, our galleries, uh, despite the difficult time. And um, for us as well on the online layer, the online sphere, it is really also the opportunity to connect to connect with a whole wide audience out there. We know who love and truly enjoy the Hong Kong show, who are unable to be with us. So what we're trying out here is to see if there is a way through internet, through live streaming, through social media, that we can still have this dialogue um, together. Art Basel takes the form this year of a special hybrid event. So you've got galleries from outside Hong Kong flying in their works, galleries in Hong Kong showing physically, and an audience that is the combination of the two, both virtual and in in person. Can that mix of experiences still be meaningful? I think yes. I mean, I feel at this point in time, and if you think about the fact that we've, you know, how we've been around the world over the past 14 months and more, I feel this opportunity to be together is so important for all of us. We really want to be able to share this with, with the world and um, Hong Kong is so important to us, this show in Asia, and, and also the fact that, you know, um, the galleries are willing to take this chance. To, they are so courageous to, to, to try this out with us and to try something new. Because if you ask me in 2019, Adeline, would galleries send their works out without themselves to Hong Kong? The answer will be no way. In the same way that we talked about, will collectors be interested in an online viewing room platform when there was a real fair? The answer before that was no. But if you look at where we are now, given everything that we've been through and the fact that we're all still here, I think the question here we ask ourselves is why not? Why not try this out? And you've got the start now of Art Basel Live, which is an exciting digital initiative of the viewing rooms that you spoke of, of virtual walkthroughs and a daily live broadcast during the fair. After the pandemic, whenever that time comes, could all this become a regular feature of Art Basel? We asked ourselves, what is it that people would want from us? You know, what can we share with the world, even if just for a few minutes? And, and really, ultimately, the answer is very simple. They want to see the art. They want to see art in real life, if possible. They would love to see the booth environment, the show floor environment, and more importantly, people want to see Hong Kong. Um, let's not forget, they all come here, not only for the convention center and the art, but also to be in this favorite city of theirs. There is a fair in Hong Kong. We would love to share it with you. If you want to watch us on video or if you want to live stream, then here we are and we're very willing to open our doors to you. This year's event has 104 exhibitors, even during a pandemic. What should we be looking out for? And what are the highlights for you personally, Adeline? We may be smaller in scale. I will say that the show is definitely not small in ambition and in spirit. Um, I am exceedingly proud of the fact that this show continues to be able to fulfill its role as the international platform for art for Asia. And this thriving community that we have here of artists, museums, galleries, collectors, schools and much more, what do you see for the future of Hong Kong as that hub and what could happen then because of that? Hong Kong is such a unique city. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know if we can pull this off if we were in any other city. The spirit here, uh, particularly the art community, I, I have to say to you, James, this is, I know I keep telling you how moved I am and, and, I, and it is really true. Uh, you know, within Hong Kong, there is so much local talent that we can work with. That in itself is, is inspiring for me. I think that in itself makes me optimistic. You know, just, just the entire ecosystem that is the art ecosystem now, it's so sophisticated compared to where we were, say, 10, 15 years ago. This is still the best place to do business, and this is still, you know, really, it's, it's a really wonderful place for art in Hong Kong. Adeline Wee, thank you so much. It is great to see you again. Thank you, James. It's wonderful to see you too.